Hey guys, welcome to this video. Uh, today we are doing something pretty exciting. We are working with Equipped Expedition Outfitters. Yeah, they're an awesome company and they've sent us Escape Gear seat covers. These are seat covers specifically cut for the 200 series seats and they have a bunch of different ones of course they make them for. So come along as we install these. Yeah. Hey there, I'm Kelsey, that's Tim, and this is the story of our adventure. Life is fleeting and we want to squeeze every bit out of it. We are wandering the world, so home is a bit of a moving target for us. We love finding the random, the remote, and sharing it all with you. So subscribe to get lost with us and hopefully find some inspiration to go after your own dreams. Okay guys, so we got these seat covers from Equipped. And when it came to looking at how we're gonna protect these seats, and frankly, when it comes to Land Cruiser seats, protecting them is important because <laughs> they fall apart. So one thing Toyota may not be the top of the pile is at their leather quality. I'll so, show you my fix in our seats because yes, they so were ripped and I didn't want them to rip We sort more. of stitched them back together just to keep the bolstering in place. Of course, you can redo the seats entirely, find some maybe at a wrecking yard, but we found in Goose, the seat covers that we put on him kept those seats looking almost brand new yeah. for decades. And so in this case, we searched around the internet for sort of the best seat covers and I wanted to get one specifically cut for these seats because if you've ever had the sort of generic one size fits all, they're just sort of a baggy yeah. sack that goes over your seats. So if you are if you've already bought these seat covers, enjoy our video. But I highly recommend <laughs> you check out this video right here. Paul from Equipped goes through a lengthy walkthrough of how to install these seat covers and save yourself a headache. Because they're specifically cut for the seat they're made for it's a little more tedious than you would think yeah. to get them on there get them snug and make them look right i've watched that install video twice now and so uh i'm gonna struggle through our own personal install but i would highly recommend checking out that video of his yeah. on the seat covers Super and really useful. all of his videos when it comes to power solutions or anything else it is a pile of information yeah. and he knows what he's talking about so if you're looking for one source that will give you really good info and won't steer you wrong check yeah. out those videos yeah side note about equipped expedition outfitters so uh paul may at overland expo always throws a party and that's actually where tim and i met yeah so we thanks, may not be standing here paul. right now if it wasn't for equipped so yeah. uh, and it was a party that we w normally wouldn't normally go to because we were exhausted to. after a day of working at expo you're just dead yeah the attendees usually go to it and have a good time i went to that hoping i'd see her there and i did the same and so we we ended up finally meeting at that party so thanks paul and mario and all the folks who uh help put on that awesome party each year. Yeah, um, I'll put a link to Equip's website down below yep. and uh, they're great to work with. They have a ton of knowledge and a ton of great products. So uh, don't hesitate to ask questions and they're very helpful with that. They've been Absolutely. very helpful to us with all of our questions. So yep. um, yeah, I'm excited to install these seat covers. All right, let's do it. Okay, so first things first, we'll open this up. Giant letters, it says, do not use blades. Check. Probably a good <laughs> idea when you're talking about a seat cover. Ooh. All right, so we have two things in here. First things first. Really last things first, actually. <laughs> this is an or seat organizer. I love these things. The work that we tend to do, and even just when we're exploring for fun, the back of the seat, we can reach and find all kinds of things. And I love something like this. So this is just simply a seat organizer that'll yeah. fit on the back of the seat and we can fill it up with things that we're grabbing throughout the day. Super useful in a small space like this to be able to have yeah. access to everything like that. This material, it's sort of like if you're an American, you know Carhartt material probably pretty well. It's a really tough duck fabric like that. And this is the same fabric that the tan seat covers are made out of. Yep. We didn't go with the tan and I'll show you why here in a second, but it does feel like a really comfy material if yeah. we had gone this way. Totally. Bottle opener, always important. Every truck should have one. Okay, so I'll just take one piece out here. This, try and give you somewhat of a close up, is the material we went with. Okay, so in the in the black and in, in the darkest color, it's actually a mix of I think it's polyester and the duck cotton fabric. Yeah. So it's very tough and it's actually their toughest sort of best wearing material of the three. So there's a gray the uh, khaki yep. color that I just showed you guys, those are both 100% cotton. Yep. And then this one has some of that poly ripstop or whatever it is in it. 
And I like the feel of this. I've this seen what, one of these it's before. It's very similar to what we had in Goose and traveled mm -hmm. in for years and years and it held up amazingly yeah. well. It was just really convenient, really comfortable. And this feels similar. It was really good. Yeah. So that's why we went with this color, even though the interior of our truck is tan. And I think the khaki would have matched it really totally, well. Yeah. So I don't think we could have gone wrong. No. I just, knowing how much we live in those two front we seats, overanalyzed I wanted it to do the toughest. <laughs> exactly. So those are your options. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. And uh, one other thing that I'm super excited about with this is that it comes with the cover for the uh, center console. What do you call that? Yeah, the center console, yeah. a little cooler or whatever on these trucks. The top of it is leather mm -hmm. and a lot of it gets scratched or ripped. And so this is a replacement fitted cover that goes over that. And what's also nice is if you're sort of changing the interior color of your truck, yeah, you can do this everything. is going to match it. So if you get tan, this is also going to be tan or if yeah. you get gray, etc. So I kind of like how that ties it all yeah, together. Yeah, I'm super excited that this piece is included. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So with that, let's jump to the install yeah. time lapse. Right, one down. Now, what I think we need to do is sit in them, drive it a bit, and then we can retension in those little straps and get it really stretched onto the seat. But the fabric is so new right now, like you can see, it's not sunk in all the way into the bucket. And then as we tighten it and use it, it'll form to the seat more and more. So I love the way it looks though. Yeah. Feels really Super good too. Sturdy. I think this is a pocket, which is really neat. Yeah, so many spots. So much things. storage. So super stoked. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use these a little bit and then we'll show you guys a little bit of video after we abuse them a little bit, yeah. how they're holding up and if we made any adjustments. So awesome. Super stoked. All right, so what do you think? They are awesome and it's hilarious because it's a weird thing to say, but it changes the whole mood in the truck to have dark seats. It and does. I really like it. It totally does. And we both like it. And as soon as we sat down in it, leather's obviously really nice. I have nothing against yeah. leather. But as soon as we sat in these, we sat in a similar canvas for years in Goose and it just felt like home as soon yeah. as we put them in. And I love that I feel like I'm not hurting the truck now. No. I've got this super thick layer and it's really comfy to sit on. Yeah. And the seat heaters are penetrating through yeah. this so you can still feel them. Uh, so we're both, I think, big fans. Yeah, and it was not hard to install. Thank you to Paul for having me install video because yes. that does make it really easy. So if you get these, watch that totally. right before you install them and that'll help a lot. Or twice. Or yeah. twice, or maybe three times. Um, but the install was not hard once you know where all the straps yeah. go, just taking your time. It's just to time get it consuming, all, I think. Yeah. yeah. Put together and tucked in. You right. really want to, on the headrest, the center console cover, and the seat covers, you're going to want to push a little here and there. And sort of that's how you get that better fitment is yep. taking the time to keep massaging it and getting it to sort of. Um, coat the coat the the seat in the way that you want it to so yeah. it is time consuming so settle in watch Paul's video and then give him a shot and you can reference back to it totally. another pro tip would be the seat um, nylon straps they come arranged the way they're they're going to be arranged on the truck yeah. so if like us you install them somewhere where there's no cell signal <laughs> then you can always refer to the second set of seat covers that you haven't yet installed yep as to how the, the, the strapping goes, yep. if you're you know forgetting or something like that. But I would just say, if you do it somewhere with Wi-Fi, you can keep his video up and that's on Equip's YouTube page. We'll put a link to that below. Yep. Makes it so much easier. It's so much easier. And then I think they come, they make, first of all, they make uh, seats, uh, they... Oh, we're gonna do it one more time. <laughs> they... Wait, five, four. <laughs> They, they do uh, make rear seat covers as yeah. well. Obviously, we do not have rear seats, but they make them. Yeah. And then I think they come in three colors. So mm -hmm. we have the charcoal. Mm -hmm. They come in gray and then a tan or khaki color. Yep. Um, so multiple colors to choose from. Yep. The khaki does match the Toyota interior very well. Yep. Uh, you can see it because our organizer, we decided to go ahead and get in khaki because in the organizers, they come in khaki or charcoal. Yep. So I figured why not go for the color that's everywhere else in this truck? But I'm really glad we went with the black. Like you said, yeah. it changes the feel of this interior and yeah. I love the way they feel, so. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll do a longer term review once we've used them and tell you how they're doing. And so far, I'm 
Yeah. So thanks for coming along. We will see you next time. See ya.